These are some of our cryptanthus pops which we have harvested from our mother plants. Today we'll show you how these pops have grown from flower to this sizes. And these pops usually have no roots. We'll also show you how to transplant them. So come join us and hope you will learn something. Welcome and welcome back to our channel. My name is Mommy J. Cryptanthus comes from the Greek word cryptos and anthos, which means hidden flower. It only blooms once in their lifetime and then eventually dies. During the pandemic, we started to collect some cryptanthus. Initially, we had seven, and now this is what we have. Propagating cryptanthus is through its baby plants, which are called pops. It starts out as flowers. We've got some of our cryptanthus in their blooming stage, and we'll take a look at its progress as the bloom grows. You'll see some of the flowers open up, and then... After a few months, there are some baby plants that start to grow on the sides of the leaves of the cryptanthus. And this has happened to all our plants that started to bloom. Some of the blooms have a single pop, others have multiple pops. When the plant is growing new plants we just take care of it as we usually do which is to water it when the soil is dry so these are some of our baby plants after a few months this will grow into bigger sizes the growth of the baby plant is varied depending on the mother plant some of the Smaller plants will produce smaller pops after a few months and some will produce bigger pops. Same age pops but different sizes. This green variety has produced two pops. As mentioned, when this plant produces pops, the mother plant will eventually die at some point. Cryptanthus, as part of the bromeliad family, is quite unique in that they grow terrestrially, meaning they grow on soil. Most of the bromeliads grow on substrates, on top of trees, attached to rocks, and so on. So this is the growth of our pops after four months from flowering. In a few more months, we will be harvesting this and transplanting them as well. In what we're showing you, we had three varieties of cryptanthus that are growing pops. The red one, the brown one, and this green one. In a few more months, we will be harvesting. Ideally, it is recommended to harvest the pop when it is one-third the size of the mother plant. So, let's begin our harvest. The pop is removed from the mother plant slowly. Make sure that you get to the end of the stem of this plant. This pop have no roots. And... What we will first do is to allow this plant to root. Be careful when you get the pops because the leaves of this plant have some sharp edges like that of a pineapple. So slowly remove the pop. 
we're done. The ones you're seeing now are the mother plant. And this one are our pops that we have harvested. As I've mentioned, these pops have no roots. In some cases, Cryptanthus produces pops at the bottom part. And that's when the pop has root. So now, now that we are done harvesting the pop, we will transplant them in our pot. Here our pot is, or our soil medium has 100% rice hull. This is carbonized rice hull. I find that the carbonized rice hull allows for most of my plants to grow roots successfully. So here are our cryptanthus pops that we have grown and harvested. We will water this and keep this in a shaded area to allow it to root for a few more days and then we'll put it in a place where it gets direct sunlight. Cryptanthus likes direct sunlight. Let me also share some guide that we use in caring for our cryptanthus. Number one is to use a fast draining soil mix. Expose it to as much sunlight as possible. Direct sun is good. And you can water it when the soil is dry or daily when it is exposed to a lot of sun. So here are our cryptanthus collection which we have grown for a couple of years now. Again, Cryptanthus is a genus in the plant family, Bromeliaceae, and it's a good plant to collect with over a thousand species of different colors and leaf patterns. Usually, I just buy one or two and then I propagate them or most of my collection. The Cryptanthus Propagation is through its little baby plants called pops. That's it. We hope that you enjoyed this video and you learned something. For more plant videos, we invite you to check out our channel and subscribe as well. Stay safe and healthy and we hope to see you on our next video. Bye for now.